Now to breaking news, we first brought you at 5. Providence City Councilman Luisa Ponte has been ordered to resign from his position after pleading no contest to felony embezzlement. And it's a case we've been covering now since 2016 when an investigation revealed Ponte had been using campaign finances for personal expenses. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado is live in Providence with the latest. Steph? In just a couple of years, Councilman Luis Aponte went from council president to now a felon after he pleaded to one count of embezzlement and agreed to resign the seat he's held for two decades. Longtime Democratic City Councilman from Ward 10, Luis Aponte will tender his resignation as part of a plea agreement with state prosecutors. He pleaded no contest today to a single count of felony embezzlement, two years after he was indicted on four total charges related to misusing campaign funds. Prosecutors said he spent more than $13,000 from his campaign account on personal items like groceries, Netflix, and iTunes. The other three charges were dropped as part of the plea deal. The judge sentenced him to four and a half years, all suspended with probation and ordered him to resign his seat within 48 hours. I think that it was a, uh, the right decision for Councilman Aponte to resign. Council Majority Leader Joanne Ryan says Aponte's resignation will allow the council to move forward. Justice was served on uh, and I think that the council and all elected officials are held to a higher standard. In a statement, Attorney General Peter Narona said using one's campaign fund to pay personal expenses is a form of public corruption because it may lead to improper influence over official acts, particularly by large scale donors to whom the public official may feel particularly indebted. Mr. Aponte's resignation as a result of his felony conviction is welcome news for the people of Providence who can move forward with representation that is committed to serving them and no one else. And we tried to reach Councilman Aponte by phone and at his home, but were unsuccessful. But his lawyer, Ed Roy, tells me Aponte takes responsibility for his actions and plans to submit his resignation tomorrow. Aponte has also paid restitution to the Board of Elections. Live in Providence, I'm Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.